Hello and welcome to Who It Could Have Been, where every single week we talk about an actor or actress that was up for a famous role, but for one reason or another, they didn't quite get it. Would they have been better, worse, or just plain weird? Well, today we're actually going to be covering one topic that was suggested uh, by a viewer in our comment section. Hint, hint, you want us to cover more topics? Comment below and maybe we'll touch on them. Um, we're going to be talking about... Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight and the role of Two-Face, which was played brilliantly by Aaron Eckhart. Aaron Eckhart. Mm -hmm. Now, would it surprise you to know that at one particular point, Matt Damon was considered to play Two-Face? Matt Damon. And that would have been all of his lines after the transformation. <laughs> Might have ruined the dramatic impact of the ending <laughs> sacrifice, but. Matt Damon. Who? Matt Damon. I mean, I wish I had a coin here I could flip. Bing. Matt Damon. <laughs> That would actually be the creepy. I, I, I take it back. It's not even funny at this point. That would be goddamn creepy. You got like this disfigured Matt monster coming Damon. and flipping a coin and saying, Matt Damon. And then God knows what that will happen. Oh my God. It, that oh. would have won Dark Knight the Oscar. Absolutely. It would have been a, a different movie. I, 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 I like Aaron Eckhart's portrayal, Two Face, when he was. When he was just the DA, I'm like, okay, he's he's energetic, he's believable. Now I'm looking at Matt Damon and I'm thinking about the different roles that I've seen Matt Damon in. He was in Oceans, he was in Born, he he got a zoo. Um, he went uh, hunting. He did, he did. He had he had a good time doing that too. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm not saying that he couldn't do it. It's just he. Other than the time that he was in Euro Trip singing about Scotty not knowing, for the most part, he's serious with com comic drops here and there. The Dark Knight. I'm trying to think about him opposite Heath and 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 Christian. It would it would have just it would have been different. I, I'm not going to say he couldn't do it because I'm since we're talking about the Dark Knight. I am going to stand up and say, I said Heath Ledger could not be the Joker. I said, why is this dude from Brokeback Mountain going from Brokeback to the Joker? I'm going to be completely honest. I was ignorant as shit. Heath Ledger owned it. So Matt Damon could have done a good job. I'm just saying, at first glance, I don't see it. Well, let me let me mention what he actually said. He told uh, MTV News a couple years ago, I couldn't. There was a scheduling thing. I never mm -hmm. spoke to Chris Nolan. I am a big Chris Nolan fan, but I never spoke to him. Look, Aaron is a great actor, so the movie didn't suffer for it. Every now and then, you get one, and you can't do it. Here's the thing. This is how I feel about Matt Damon. He kind of has a baby face. He can get away with that uh, naivete of, of somebody that is very, very pure, as is Harvey Dent pre okay. face. I can see him selling that, and even more so, I can see him selling the darker turn to contrast with the naive, baby face looking Matt Damon. Um, I think that the, the thing, the one aspect that Aaron Eckhart has uh, that trumps. Matt Damon, just based on this, is that he has a very understated quality. I can buy him more as a politician and as that DA, because you have to have a bit of a harder edge to get to where he got, despite his optimistic outlook. And I do like that he has those very genuine flashes of anger pre-transformation. I buy it a lot more from Aaron Eckhart because he, he skews a little bit more realistic than I would with Matt Damon, who skew, immediately in my mind screws a little bit more towards, let's just say for sake of a better word, somebody who is a little bit more of a celebrity. If you could have cast Matt Damon as a Batman villain from his endless and epic rogue gallery to put in the Nolan vs. Batman films, 
All right, so it could be a character that hasn't been adapted yet. Who okay. would you choose? Like, I can I can see him being the Riddler in a way, like the darker version of the Riddler. I think he would have he he would have done a better job with Freeze. I didn't like Arnold's Freeze at all. I think we're still waiting on a on a on a good Doctor Freeze. I don't think we got it yet. The problem with Arnold, he had the physicality for the role, but the script right. made the character a joke. I mean, this is supposed to be a very like like most of the best Batman villains. He has a very very dramatic yeah. background, and in some cases within the comics, he even does good things. Uh, he's capable of it. I mean, he doesn't speak in ice puns with an odd Austrian accent. <laughs> so, so, so take this walk with me, bro. Take this walk with me. Think about the way that this Dark Knight, this, the trilogy, think about the way that it was taped. Think about the way that they developed all of the villains in all those films from Ra's al Ghul to the Joker to Bane and Ra's al Ghul's daughter in the, in, in the Rise. They developed the characters. You gonna tell me that Matt Damon couldn't play Freeze and wouldn't do a good job with the uh, the art of it all because Freeze is a a very complicated person that really is only acting out out of anger for his lost wife. I I wouldn't be against it. I think Matt Damon has terrific range and he'd be able to to pull it off. I don't know if that's necessarily the ideal villain. I I haven't put my finger on which one necessarily would be his ideal, except maybe if they cast him as Clayface and the only thing you could say is Matt Damon, because that that would actually make a little bit sense with that character. Um, Or or if you want to go really wild, you can have him play Condiment Man, which I brought up on... (laughs) On the show a few times, I could see Matt Damon wearing a diaper and distilling ketchup and mustard justice. Another sentence that nobody has ever probably ever said. Ever. Ever. I cannot wait to see Matt Damon wearing a diaper and dispensing ketchup and mustard justice twice in one day. Okay, oh. I, I want to see that quote put on the back of the Blu-ray when it comes <laughs> <laughs> that could be the tagline of the film. People would pay to see it. Some very scary yeah, people, but people would pay to see it. Look, as, as I've said this before, you put the right people in a film and they can make $40 million. That's true. Well, what, what do you guys think? Uh, do you think that Matt Damon would have played a good Two-Face in the Nolan verse? And if not, what Batman villain Would you have liked to see Matt Damon play in the said universe? Let us know in the comments below. And once again, if anybody ever has a topic they'd like for us to cover, let us know. TJ, where can we find you? Uh, If you're looking for me, look no further than Twitter, because that's where I spend most of my Sunday afternoons. Uh, At Tokyo J, that's T-O-K-E-O-J. Same thing on Snapchat if you want to see how I live. Married conversations every week. That's me and my wife talking about real world stuff. Dinner time with Kyle Nash. He's still on assignment, so I'm hoping that that cat returns real soon so we can get back to work eating together. And as always... When I am fortunate to be across from you, brother, I'm having a good day. Hell yeah, same here, bro. And of course, you can find me on HilarityByDefault.com, on Twitter, at Default Hilarity, and on Facebook and Instagram, Hilarity by Default. And make sure to tune in every day, practically, right here, where life is Hilarious by Default.